Hi, this is Drew Jones of Drew's Guitar Shop in Seattle, Washington, and today I wanted to do a little video about uh, one solution um, if you have stripped out intonation screws. The intonation screws are these guys here in the back. They move the saddles forward or backwards depending on how much compensation you need for the string involved. Um, and what it does is it makes your open note sound the same as your octave down here, um, which is ideally the case. Um, in some cases, what you're going to run into on older guitars, guitars that have been messed with, um, is stripped screws. Um, this is a really particularly um, kind of ornery spot to get a strip screw, a strip screw, um, simply because of kind of where it is relative to the body. Uh, it's it's hard to get a lot of force applied here without risking damaging this area of the finish. And so, what we need to do is we need to figure out a way that we can move it back and forth without having to apply a ton of pressure, which is usually kind of one of the solutions that you would use on kind of a strip screw as you would try to force the head of the screw, uh, head of the screwdriver, you know, really deep in and kind of turn with what you have left. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen the string, maybe even looser than that, because this, this low E saddle needs to go back. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna push with my finger while I turn the screwdriver. And the combination of these two motions are gonna be kind of copacetic in wanting to move that saddle back. And so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and stick the screwdriver in. We'll push against that low E saddle with the thumb. And we're getting a lot of movement. Very nice movement. So this is one trick that you can use if you run into this situation. Though what I'll say um, to the end of avoiding strip screws in the first place is use the right size screwdriver for the screw that you're that you're you know using it on. Um, you know screwdrivers are kind of like you know ratchets and and you know wrenches and all of that stuff. You know they come in different sizes for reasons, which is that you know some screws are bigger than others and uh, you definitely want to use the right screwdriver for the job. Um, using a screwdriver that is too small for the job is likely going to um, kind of strip it out, especially if it's a Phillips. Those are kind of designed to torque out um, at a certain point. Um, you know, and when it comes to like larger screwdrivers, obviously like, you know, if you're trying to you know, use that little Utsi of, of uh, you know, grip that you can kind of get sometimes in the middle of the screw with an oversized screwdriver, you know, you're usually going to be kind of just grinding out that center of the screw, and so don't do that either. Just make sure that you got the right screwdriver for the job. You know, I've got like two sizes of screwdriver here on the bench in terms of uh, Phillips heads. I've got like two different sizes of them in terms of flat heads. One of them is almost um, completely reserved for adjusting um, those tailpiece studs on, um, you know, Gibson Les Pauls and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, it's, it's the right size for it. That's another area where I tend to see a lot of stripped screws as people will take a smaller screwdriver than should be used in that area and, and kind of apply a lot of pressure. Um, so don't, don't do that. Um, you know, if you need to raise and lower that, that thing and you don't have the right size screwdriver, you know, take the pressure off and, uh, you know, do it by hand. And uh, that way you're not you know, torquing down on the thing with a, with a screwdriver. So anyway, um, that's my cool trick, is to push and screw at the same time with uh, a stripped out intonation screw. And that was my advice on avoiding this issue in the first place. Um, this has been Drew Jones of Drew's Guitar Shop in Seattle, Washington. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, I've got a link to my Ko-Fi and my Patreon in the description, and you can drop me a tip there if you like. Um, I also have a link down there to my reverb page where I sell guitars and some cannibalized pieces off guitars and some other stuff. You might check that out too. And I have a link down there to my website, uh, which has my contact info, pricing info, uh, and a page that I wrote on caring for stringed instruments and uh, recently added a um, all about frets page. If you click on any of the hyperlinks in my uh, frets section of the price list on my website, you will come across that uh, that big long article that I wrote all about fret wire and fretting and all that cool stuff. If that sounds of interest to you, check it out. Um, like, subscribe, link videos around to friends who might be interested. Helps me out a lot. And uh, thank you for watching.